Hello and welcome back to the bright side of mathematics. In this video here, I want to show you the learning path I envision for my videos and which you can also use to learn mathematics. For this, you can use my webpage here, which is the bright side of mathematics.com and usually it's for my study supporters, Patreon supporters and the members on YouTube to find additional material. However, the things I want to show you now are completely for free. So what you should do here is you either click on overview network or on this button get started to see the network of my videos. So the idea here is that each node represents a playlist in YouTube, a whole series and each arrow here, each edge shows you in which order you should go through these videos. But maybe for the first step, just ignore the arrows altogether and just read the picture from top to bottom, which means you first have to understand the things on the top to understand the things downstairs. And there we immediately see the foundation, the language we need to learn first to understand mathematics is given here in my Start Learning Mathematics series. And moreover, if things are on the same level, it's best to go through them left to right. This means here, you first should understand how basic logic works in mathematics and then you can go through the sets and in the end you understand how we can construct the number sets. By the way, you can just click on a node to find the corresponding videos on YouTube. Here for example, we have the Start Learning Set series and this button here brings you to YouTube and to the first video in the series. And here I can already tell you, learning how sets work is very important for the rest of the courses altogether. Okay, then next in the list, after my whole Start Learning Mathematics series, we find almost on the same level, linear algebra and real analysis. And there, you might already know, these are very important courses because in linear algebra, you learn how to deal with vectors and in real analysis, you learn how to calculate with functions. And this knowledge is indeed needed to understand all the topics below. So for example, functional analysis needs the knowledge from linear algebra and real analysis. But in the best case, you also have knowledge about all these topics that are before on top of functional analysis on this level here. And if I say knowledge, it does not mean that you have to watch every video in the series above. It just means if there is some question that occurs while watching functional analysis, maybe you have to go back to some specific video in the series above. So for example, if you start with the complex analysis series here, you might follow that easily with your knowledge of complex numbers. But at some point you might think, I should refresh my knowledge about multivariable calculus to understand the partial derivatives that occur there. Okay, so there we have it. This is the map for my videos and you can use it for free for your own learning path. And if you want to support me, you can do that on Steady, Patreon or here on YouTube. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.